Hey guys, it's Coach Kyle here, and we are on our fifth video. And that means we're still at home, we're stuck, unfortunately, and um, we had run out of ideas last week, so we asked you guys to send us some su suggestions, and uh, the Wong family sent us some, and we liked them. So we tried them out this week, and we're calling this segment Coach Imperfect. You probably have seen guys online, some dudes who are doing some pretty perfect stuff, but we're here, we're just KYL coaches and we're imperfect, right? It's kind of like how the Bible says, for everyone has sinned, we all fall short of God's glorious standard. Yet God in his grace freely makes us right in his sight. Okay, so although we are per imperfect, God, through his grace, makes us perfect, okay? So we will own our imperfections and, and accept the grace that God has given us. All right, so this segment, it's a little lighthearted, but it's pretty fun. So um, without be, that being said, okay, let's get down to business. <laughs> All I really know is one honey, nothing left. One honey, tell nothing left. All I really know is one honey, one honey, nothing left. One honey, tell nothing left. All I really know is one honey, one honey, nothing left. Rockin' the 42 in my dodge fit Grippin' the arm that was just like my bitch Crowd the opposite, saying that I should quit But I don't throw all of it You can hate, but you can't hurt me You can hate, but you can't hurt me Am I worth this safe? I can leave this earth today Dashed up on grace, how they gon' circle K? There's no way this one's going in One honey, tell nothing left All I really know is one honey Alright, here we got a buzzer beater Nothing less Alright guys, now it's your turn. Send us your trick shot videos that you do at home. They could be everyday trick shots, um, basketball trick shots, soccer, whatever you got. Send us your trick shots. Oh wait, we got something that came in right now from Coach Rowell. Let's watch his trick shots. Eyes closed. First attempt. Good job, Coach Rowell. You had that no eyes trick shot on the first shot. Good job. All right. Um, so send us your trick shots this week. All right. Send it right down here to that address. All right. Or text it to me. All right. Next up, we have Coach Carson giving you a club meeting. Here we go, Coach Carson. You know, I'm doing something that I do almost every week. I'm polishing my shoes. And the way you polish your shoes is you put what's called shoe polish on them. Here's some shoe polish. And you take some of this stuff and you put it on the shoe like this and rub it around like that. All right, and see how the shoe's kind of dingy now? But just wait. Wait until I polish it. Look how nice it's going to look. It doesn't even take that long, but it makes your shoes look really good. Go like this. I 
All right. Look at that. See how much nicer that shoe looks out there? Beautiful, ready for church. All right. So the polish does the trick to make the shoes look good, but you know what? The polish leaves a stain on my rag. See that? And guys, you know what? We all are born with something called sin. And we all want to go to heaven someday, right? And we all want to do what God wants us to do. We want to live the way he wants us to live. But we have this stain in our lives called sin. And this shoe polish really leaves a hard stain. So the question is, how do I get, if I want to make this white like it was before, how can I get rid of this stain? So I looked up, how do you get rid of shoe polish? And I saw all these kinds of suggestions and I tried them all. So if you look down here, you know, I would try, I tried some of this. This is a uh, vinegar. I tried to get it out with this. Poured some vinegar, couldn't get it out, okay? I tried rubbing alcohol, alcohol. same thing. Tried it. I worked really hard, couldn't get it out. Then I tried, okay, how about some dish soap? Tried really hard. You know, it, it helps, but it doesn't get it out. Look at all this stuff. All purpose cleaner. Try to get the stain out. It's helping, but the stain is still there. And I go off, keep going. I got my simple green. I work really hard. Just doesn't come out. OxyClean for laundry stain remover. See if that works. I mean, it helps, but still, it doesn't get my stain out. Not even shout, none of this stuff does. And that's the way our sin is. That's the way we are. We cannot get clean, no matter how hard we try. Okay? But there's only one way to get clean. And to be acceptable to God and to be his child. And that is Jesus died on the cross and shed his blood and his blood cleanses us from our sin. And that's what makes us clean. Now, last week we talked about faith and how if we have faith, if we have that belief that God is there and we have that faith and we believe he died for our sins in God's eyes, that makes our heart clean and we can be like brand new white as snow because of what Jesus did not what we can do but what Jesus did Jesus died on the cross for our sins to make us clean to make our hearts clean and we can have that be real to us by believing it by having that faith let me read Isaiah 1 18 it says come now let's reason together says the Lord Though your sins are as scarlet, they will be as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they will be like wool. All right, guys. So through faith, believe that Christ made you who had these stin sins stained in their life. He made you clean by shedding his blood for you on the cross. All right? All right, guys, thank you. Grandma shot, one eye closed, first attempt. Between the legs, eyes closed, first attempt. Eyes closed through the between the legs. First attempt. <laughs> <laughs>